Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady and Why. I'm Marilyn, and today we have part two of our Thread Up Incredible Box. I hope everybody is doing wonderful. I hope you enjoyed last night's video. This box is crazy, guys. I thought it was extremely heavy, and it just keeps going and going and going. Yes, there is going to be a part three. Yes, there is amazing, seriously amazing pieces in here. Um, so be sure to watch tonight, watch tomorrow night. You're going to be shocked at how amazing this box is. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Marilyn. My husband's name's Barry. I'm going to do a really short intro let you know that if you want to purchase something, all you do is send us an email to one shadyandy at gmail.com. And that email to us, be sure you send us your mailing address, a timestamp, and a description of what you're interested in. That really helps us out. Um, look at the video really good. Um, and that just gives you all the information you need. And um, we do invoices on Saturdays. Um, so you can add throughout the week as much as you want. Shipping is $5 in the United States under 12 ounces. Anything over 12 ounces is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. Um, we do generally, not this week, generally we do um, jewelry videos on Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, tomorrow's video um, will be part three and it is the final of this box and it will go up at 10 o'clock also. And um, that's Eastern Standard Time. Um, all the information is below here in the description area. Just click more and it gives you all the information. We only take um, requests off our emails. And um, I think that's it. Uh, if this sounds like something you'd enjoy, definitely send. Uh, be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already. If you are subscribed or think you've subscribed, be sure to check. Sometimes it, um, it goes away. So you want to be sure that you're still subscribed because we appreciate you, each and every one of you, um, so much. I'm not going to delay. Let's just jump right into the part two of this incredible thread up box. Um, very sweet. Um, cold to the touch and I don't see a name this is magnetic slightly um, a toggle clasp and then it has these spacers at the end um, none of it is sterling it is slightly magnetic so just silver tone but these stones are gorgeous look at them they are citrine um just stunning i love the way that they have that crystallized um at the very top of each stone um and like i said cold cold um citrine little pebbles um the measurement on this is seven and a quarter inch and i'm gonna say let's do 22 dollars beautiful This is like um, silver tone. Um, maybe the rhinestone. No, it looks like they're all there. All the beads look like they're there. And on this, um, I'm going to test this. It is like a rope uh, that's tied. It is 16 inches and this really cool piece, top to bottom with the dangles is three and a quarter inch by three inches. Not sterling, so I'm going to say let's do $8. Here we have a little silver tone necklace with a reefer plant like so 
Um, it is silver tone, not sterling. It is 16 inches, a little over 16 inches. I'm going to say 16 and a half inches. And I'm going to say, let's do $5 on that. These match and they are um, neon, uh, very cool hoops. And on these, I'm going to say, let's do, those are really cool. Those would definitely glow in the dark. And I'm going to say, let's do $4 for those. We've got um, some seeds and um, rust colored seed beads with a barrel clasp. These are 17 inches, and I'm going to say just a dollar on those. These are seeds also. This is um, seeds and black seed beads. This is on a um, lobster clasp, like so. And this one is 17 inches, and I'm going to say just a dollar on that one. These match... Let me undo this. These match this bracelet. So I'm going to say, let's do, um, so these are not sterling either. So they're just really big loops. They are citrine. So I'm gonna say, let's do $8 for these. Um, this one um, is wood and it's stretch, and I'm going to say let's do $3 on that. Let's get some of the bigger pieces. <laughs> Here we have, uh, this is super heavy. And it's signed J. Crew. It is um, glass, um, like a gold brass tone. There's a little discoloration on a couple of these. Definitely cold to the touch. Beautiful black big beads with a ribbon at the end. I'm leaving the ribbon tight as it is. It is 28 inches, and for the J. Crew, I'm gonna say, let's do $7. These match, and they're silver tone hoops. Um, they do not look um, magnetic, um, but I'm gonna say just $3 on those. These are neon. Let's see if there's a name. I don't see a name on them, um, but they're neon, glow in the dark, and I'm gonna say uh, $4 on those. Uh, this is signed does that say? It says Lydell NYC. It has these gold um, beads that are like hammered. And then, now that's a pretty, uh, really nice like ice little, these are acrylic. That's a pretty necklace. It is discolored in some places. It's 18 inches, and then the beads drop down about two and a half inches. It needs to be cleaned, so I'm gonna say just $2. This says it's a little bracelet dog tag. 
with a beaded chain. Let's see if I can get that back in there. I can't. Don't want to break a fingernail. It says, you found me. Trackable at geocaching.com. Then it has a number. And then it has Brian on the back. Okay. I have no idea, but I'm going to say a dollar. Uh, this is gorgeous. Um, no name. Um, it's acrylic. No missing rhinestones. I'm going to put this over to the side and do a Google search and come back and give us some information on this. Here we have a bangle that has K-I. Is that an I or a J? Let's say it could be K-L. Um, it is. Okay, you saw the photo that I just put in. That was the sterling and then the silver. So it was like 18 karat versus uh, the silver um, acid. And um, I'm paranoid about the sterling um, or the 18 karat whenever um, a piece is not signed with a stamp that says 925 or sterling um, because one of our really wonderful subscribers sent us photos of a piece that she had received and um, she showed us where the blue um, it was blue from the 18 karat and then she did the silver testing and it showed um, not uh, sterling and I think the whole thing of it is like, you know, you, you, we as um, creators, YouTube creators, jewelry sellers, jewelry resellers, you know, all we can do is take the information as we get it. Um, like this is either a KL or a KI. It's one of those pieces I cannot um, locate on my research as crazy as I am with research. And... Um, Sometimes you're just paranoid. <laughs> and we all we have for silver is acids. There's not a machine or something that we can use. Anyway, my suggestion is scratch in a very inconspicuous place, if possible, very, very hard. Get you a really, really good scratch. And I tested this over and over and I kept coming out with the same results. The blue from the 18 karat and a red mark, and that's all you're gonna get on the sterling, is you scratch it, um, you put your silver acid on, you take a Q-tip or something white, if you don't have a white tile. I do have a white tile, I don't know where it is. It's in a box. <laughs> and you take your Q-tip and you, rake it across and the color there's a chart you can look up online the color will tell you if it's sterling or 800 silver or 500 silver or 200 silver and it just keeps going down um this was red so it says silver anyway i'm going on i just like to inform you whenever i have a learning situation in my head i like to share it with you anyway this is sterling silver it is um, one, um, one, it is seven and a quarter inch and it is gorgeous, but I could not locate it. So it could be, um, you know, an artisan piece. It is gorgeous with this design on it. And I'm going to say, let's do, um, it's very heavy, um, but I'm going to say, let's do 25. It's beautiful. This is cool. This is um, silver tone choker with a cross. Um, as I said, silver tone. It is signed on the back. 925. <laughs> Are we serious? Um, 
with all the sterling. Um, all right, it is 13 inches with a additional inch and three fourths. The cross is two and a quarter inch by one and a quarter. And I'm going to say, let's do, um, let's see if that's sterling. Probably, yep. Um, I'm going to say, let's do $20. Here we have, isn't this cool? This is like a um, tie leather braided strap. Um, is it supposed to go in here? Let me see if I can figure this out. Like so. And I guess you tie these off so they can't come undone. And then it's braided. There is some raveling right here, but this is really cool. This is, I'm gonna, yeah, say brass. Isn't that cool? The um, braided leather is, it seems like leather to me, 26 inches. Just wanted to give you a close-up of the Star of David. It is gorgeous. It is brass. It is a nice weight to it. Not too heavy, not too light. It is two and a half inches by about one and seven eighths of an inch. Gorgeous piece. I think that is stunning. There's the back. There's the front. And I'm going to say $18 for the brass uh, Star of David. All right, these are stretch prayer beads. Let's see, they're stretch. And it says 108 Warrior. And there's the back. And on this, I'm just going to say, let's do $2. We have this, which is pretty. Let's see if I can get that out. I love this. This is like pebbled leather, I think. I'm not sure if it's leather. I'm going to say it's not leather. And um, beads that are beautiful. Love that. Let's give you a length on that. It's like a, another champagne color with um, a brass color. It is... 34 inches with the tassel on this being three and a half inches. And on this, I'm going to say, let's do $5. Here we have a stretch um, like hematite. Um, and that's going to be a dollar. Uh, this is super heavy. Um, gunmetal. Look at that. That is pretty. These are like cups. Um, no missing rhinestone. Oh, there is a missing rhinestone right there. Oh, man. That's a shame. Um, unfortunately, did not find the rhinestone. So I'm just going to say $2 for this piece. It is gorgeous. Um, this goes with the other one, and there is a missing rhinestone on this. These are stunning, absolutely stunning. I believe these are um, Roxanne um, Azulin. I think it is her Lee Angel acrylic line, um, or Lucite line, not acrylic, um, Lucite. Um, Lee Angel New York um, is considered vintage, okay, costume jewelry. 
Um, the history of the brand is uh, Lee Angel began in 1997. Although its founder, um, Roxanne Asulan, began making jewelry like 40 years ago and gorgeous, gorgeous um, pieces um, back in um, the 70s and 80s. Um, then in the 70s, she created hair accessories and leather bracelets. And um, in the 90s, she began doing costume jewelry using precious metals. Um, and I have sold some of her earrings and they go for a high price. And then um, Lee Angel, she created that company, um, a fashion brand. Um, and she um, uh, was with brands like Club Monaco, J. Crew, uh, Banana Republic, um, Anthropology, Urban Outfitters, things like that. And noteworthy is that Roxanne has worked with such iconic designers as Oscar de la Rente and Marc Jacobs um, and the likes of that. And her star clients are like Madonna and Kate Hudson. Anyway, um, Lee Angel includes metal alloy, um, metals, brass, 12 karat gold, semi-precious stones, also crystals of different cuts and colors, lucite, pearls. Um, if you find her pieces, definitely check them out because they are great. And um, it's considered new vintage, but it's super, super popular. And then she also, in 2013, started a new company that is Lee by Lee Angel. And um, still producing today and um, just gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. Anyway, this is attributed to her. Um, a couple things. Um, this is not signed. However, a plate was probably right there. Okay. And um, it would have been a small oval plate. And that's what uh, is on these studded pieces. Um, but it's missing um, on that little um, hole, okay? All, in the larger one, it is gorgeous. It's considered a root beer studded um, bangle. It is not missing any of the rhinestones on the larger one. However, the smaller one is missing one of the studs right here. Um, not bad because you can, you know, put that at the back, but still it is missing. The size of these are seven and three fourths of an inch. Um, when you measure the larger one, because it's, you know, does it go down as far? It is about the seven and a half, um, but they're the same size. And on these, I'm going to do, um, because the one is missing and the um, signature plate is missing, I'm going to say just $20 on these. Um, they do have some scratches, but they are stunning. I love 80s and 90s jewelry, and I am a fan of Roxanne Azulan. Um, so beautiful. We have another, these look wood, painted wood that look like a uh, halite or turquoise. It's stretch. I'm going to say a dollar on that one. This one is uh, magnetic and um, it has really pretty like stars, a faux pearl, rhinestones. Isn't that nice? Um, gold tone. As I said, it's magnetic. And it is 18 inches with a drop of uh, about an inch and five eighths. And I'm just going to say $3 on that one. This is gorgeous. This is um, beautiful cloisonne. Um bracelet. It is beautiful. No missing cloisonne at all. Um, 
it is a stunner with this nice, brilliant blue um, with like mauves and greens, uh, some yellow. It is blue on the inside, um, just a stunner. Um, it does look to have a little crack right here in the closet. A. Actually, on the whole inside of the bracelet, not on the out, it is a bangle. It is a size 8 inches. And on the closet, a, since it does have that, uh, you know, it has the hole and it has that little crack right there. It doesn't feel um, like it would hurt at all. And the outside, I'm not really seeing um, any damage. It looks like it might have had an actual um, very old uh repair so on this i'm just going to say let's do seven dollars it is a beauty um stunning piece definitely definitely vintage here we have morse cold bracelet with hope and it's dots and um dashes um handmade what a cute piece and then it has um the morse code on the back um that's a cool, cool piece. It's a bracelet with a bolo bag. And I'm going to say, let's just do $2. This is cool. It's super lightweight um, with this like gold. I guess it's supposed to look like a, a druzy. Um, but I'm just going to say it is bent. And I'm just going to say a dollar on that one. We are finally getting down to the end. Here's the bag, empty bag. We have universal thread, um, nickel free, um, silver tone with like a, a purple. Um, it was originally $9.99 and I'm just gonna do $2. These were originally $18 and they're like feathers and it says 37 Central Closeries, Historic Woodstock, Vermont. Um, so uh, $18, I'm gonna say let's do five. Um, here is another um, it's a barrel clasp. And um, these are sodalite. It is 20 inches. And on this, I'm gonna say, let's do $10 with the sodalite. All right, this says Credit Union Kids. And it says, research is hope, la la. 925 then a beaded um necklace that says lala's these are on ebay for 49.99 they are all sterling i tested ours the beaded necklace is sterling the disc is sterling so let me show you it a little closer okay the beatball necklace is sterling it's mark sterling it tests as sterling it's 18 inches on their website, it is $35. On their website, these discs um, with different sayings, but it says 925. And this one says you, uh, Credit Union Kids, I believe is a charity. And um, these run $100 on their website. So um, I'm going, I mean, this is super heavy. Um, sterling silver. Um, I'm going to say, because I'm just going to sell the beadball necklace and, um, throw in the disc. So I'm going to say $25 on the beadball necklace. Gorgeous. And you're getting a hunk of sterling along with it. <laughs> How's that? Okay. This is interesting. This is, um... Let me see real quick. 
I don't see a mark on this one. Yeah, so this one is not sterling, but it is glass, but it is pretty. It is very interesting glass and seed beads. Um, and then these beads are black and they've been wrapped in like a, um, like a thread. Very, very interesting. It is 16 plus two. So I'm going to say, um, let's do, let's do $10 on that one. Very interesting glass beads. see it's like I untangled them and it looks like they're tangling back up again okay this is signed nine two five. Thailand CFS, I think. So, um, marcasites and then uh, three, um, yeah, three rinds or cubic zirconias, um, all sterling silver on a sterling silver chain, and um. The sterling silver chain has um, a tag that says 925 and a thumb clasp. It is 18 inches with the heart being one inch by about three fourths of an inch. And on the heart, I'm going to do, let's do $12. Okay, this is J. Crew. It is a long um, gold chain. Um, with these charms, we have a um, glass, a faceted, a faux pearl. This really cool um, uh, cubic zirconias and this disc. And on the J. Crew, uh, let me give you a length. It's 26 inches and the charms are about two inches, um, the longest one. So I'm gonna say on the J. Crew, let's do $10. <laughs> Here we have a Deb Guyot, I think that's how you say it. It is Sterling Silver 925 and it is, um, I think it's pronounced Herkimer Diamond Quartz, faceted, um, beautiful um, piece. Um, it is on a sterling silver chain with an extension. It is a lobster clasp, 18 inches with a two inch extension. And on this one, I'm gonna do, um, was this 16 inches? Did I say 16 or 18? Yeah, it's 16 inches with a two inch extension. And on this one, I'm gonna do $25. I don't think I've really gotten a lot of those Hinkamer um, quartz. They call them Hinkamer diamonds. I don't think I've gotten too many of those before, so that's pretty cool. And then this one, is a bomb party um pretty cool um a small rollo chain um sterling silver um 17 inches with a two inch extension i'm trying to think was this one sterling maybe not let me check real quick. No, this one is not, but, oh, this one's rhodium plated. That's right. 
Um, so this is really cute. It is a um, bomb, bomb party piece. It's called She's Got the Look. It retails for $138. It's rhodium plated and it is a quartz with um, cubic zirconias on the side. And on this one, I'm going to do, um, let's do 20. As I said, it retails for 135. Is that crazy? 135 or 138, something like that. Um, so let's do 20 on that one. Then we have this really cute thread. Um, necklace. It is still has a knot in it, um, but it has these um, beads. And this one is um, not sterling either. It is lobster clasp. It's 12 inches plus a three inch extension. And I'm just going to say let's do $6 on that one. Then we have this one, which is. Um, Marsala, it is um, uh, sterling silver, open work um, with a, I believe this is a um, uh, turquoise because she does use real stones. It's a uh, sterling chain um, on a thumb clasp and it is marked um, with her mark in 925. It is 18 inches with the um, pendant being one and three eighths of an inch by about three fourths of an inch. And on the Marsala piece, I'm gonna say, let's do $18. Then we have this piece. I think this is such a beautiful piece. Excellent condition. It says, stay gold on the bag. This is by Lily Silk, um, which is a designer. Um, gold tone, it's 18 karat gold plated with a lobster clasp. It is mother of pearl with um, rhinestones. And the um, uh, symbol in the center is an abda. Abadai, I think is how you say it. Um, I could have that pronunciation completely off, as you know me. But that is a Malaysian symbol for eternal. Um, this sells um, new around $100. This one does look new. There's no scratches. Um, there's a little bit of wear from being in the uh, bag. Um, but that mother of pearl is stunning. And I'm going to say, let's do, oh, let me give you a size. It is a small little gold plated lobster clasp. It is um, with the extension um, 17 inches with the pendant being um, one inch by one inch. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's do $35. Beautiful piece. Um... Here we have a gold uh, filled chain with a lobster clasp, I mean, with a thumb clasp. It is 18 inches, and I'm just going to say let's do $6 for the gold filled chain. And this, a beauty, this box just keeps on giving. This piece is a Berg's, and that's for um, Berg's and Mayers, which is a renowned um, Canadian firm. And um, this was um, designed by um, Esty um, Grossman. I believe that's her name. Um, but um, these... Uh, she has a, uh, I'm like all over the place because I can't believe that this was in this box. In um, 2003, she went to work. She was uh, um, trained in Paris and Italy. Um, she 
um, lived and worked on the French uh, Riviera, and she um, was a avid or is an avid free style diver, uh, loves the ocean. And um, so in 2003, she went to work for Berks Mayers, which is a Canadian high end store. Okay. And she developed these um, pieces for them. Uh, and they are um, fish. And they are sterling silver. They come in sterling silver. They come in gold. And um, she's a goldsmith, silversmith. And these, <laughs> what, what? Run um, new um, it, over a um, $1,000. And um, there's one on, not exactly like this one. It is, um, ours goes like this, okay? So it has one thing going down. And the one that's online, let me show that one to you. It is 16 and a half inches. It's the needlefish, just like ours. Um, theirs is spread across where ours is dangles down. And um, in, this is Canadian, and um, in US dollars, that would be about $1,000. Um, so this is a um, pre-owned piece. It is a stunner. Let me give you a, it is 16 inches with a, two and a quarter inch extension. The um, needlefish hang down four inches. And I'm going to say $600. It is stunning. Um, but like I said, this is an amazing, amazing box. And we have more. Okay, we still have quite a bit left. So let's push that out of the way. This is... Um, a constellation um, necklace. I believe this is cancer, as I'm cancer. I think I know this, I'm not 100%, um, but I'm pretty sure that's what this one is. This is gold filled. It is 17 inches with a um, thumb clasp. And on this one, I'm just gonna say $6. Okay, this is another oh wow piece. This one is signed right here on this tag, and the tag says KA1772N925, Italy. This is for, I think I'm going to say this wrong, as usual, um, Carazina, Carazia Spa, um, and that is an Italian um, company. Okay. It's K-A-R-I-Z-I-A. -I -I -A. And, um, this is a sterling silver graduated hammered double O-ring chain necklace. Uh, isn't that a fabulous? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a beauty. It is stunning the way it's hammered. Has a lobster class that is fabulous. 16 inches plus a two and a half inch extension. Look at those hammer marks. Aren't they gorgeous? I think so. And it goes like so. And um, look at that lobster class. Gorgeous. This is um, online for um, 100, 125. And on this one, I'm going to do, let's say, um, $60. Beautiful. I am um, loving this box. Okay, now we have um, all of this still to go. And I'm just going to start going through it. This is, oh yeah, I wanted to test this little uh, bead. It might be um, cubic zirconia, but I thought 
with the way this box is, we probably should test quite a bit of the stuff. So um, this is just a bolo um, necklace or bracelet, um, double threaded and a hot pink. And it's got this little um, bead or jewel and it is a diamond. <laughs> Let's see, I don't, let me look, because a lot of this is marked. So let me see if there's any marking on this. I don't see anything. Let's just scratch it real quick to see if it is, Sterling. If I can get to it. It is not. Um, it didn't look sterling. Um, it did look a little off, so let me see. So that's uh, 10 karat gold acid. So I thought, considering it's a diamond, it might be gold. Um, and it's holding. So let me look at 14 real quick. The 14 is going to take over the 10. So if it disappears, we know it was just 10. Because this one drops so heavy. And it's holding. Okay. I'm telling you guys, this box is like crazy. Um, so this a tiny little adorable bracelet, and it is adjustable, and it is a bolo, and it will go, let's see, how far? Quite a ways. Yeah, it'd go to about an eight and a half, and it'd get pretty small. Yeah, it is holding on the 14. So it's a 14 carat, tiny little piece, and a diamond um, with a string. And I'm just going to say, let's do, let's do $18. Sweet. Okay, let's put that over there. Um, let's see. This is acrylic. Like so. Those are pretty. Love them. Nice green. Um, they do have bags. No name that I can see. And on these, very pretty. I'm going to say let's do $6. Okay, guys. I am... This is going to be a part three. Um, this, we still have over an hour of video um, after this. You are going to be blown away by this box. It is just crazy, this box. Okay. So I'm going to stop here. Tomorrow night is going to be part three and the conclusion. I've already finished it. It's just I can't put up a two over two hour video up so this is part two thank you so much um for joining us be sure to put in the comments what you think um i apologize for it running into three days and i can't wait for you to see the finish of this if you saw anything that interests you simply send us an email to one shady and y at gmail.com be sure to give us a timestamp and a description of what you're looking for. Be sure that you know that we appreciate you spending just a little bit of your day with us, and we will see you on the next one.